I've had something of a revelation recently. I gotta make a change. For once in my life. I think it's gonna feel real good. It's gonna make a difference. In all seriousness though, I am realizing that I have been in a bit of a hole for a while now. I used to make a lot of videos and then all of a sudden I stopped. And the reason was is because I kind of lost my motivation. This episode is brought to you by Motivation. Because sometimes people need a kick in the pants to actually do anything at all. Why is it that people need a kick in the pants to do anything at all? People should just be able to get up and say, hey, I'm going to do this thing, and then go do it. But it's not always that easy. Sometimes people get bogged down and don't actually feel like doing the things that make them happy. For example, me. I am a biologist. Well, I mean, I graduated as one. Then I kind of became like an engineered sort of thing, and now I'm sort of a biologist again, but recently I feel like I've been kind of underperforming at work, and my brain's in kind of a haze and a fog, and I've looked around and seen that all the things that I've wanted to do, you know, make videos, talk in a microphone, and be someone who isn't me, and help other people and make them smile, I mean, that's the whole reason I'm a biologist too, is because I want to help people get better, not be sick, but none of that's really bringing me a lot of enjoyment, and I wondered why that was. And then I had that whole last video where I was talking about getting the girl and how, you know, I was really down in the dumps about it. And then I thought, maybe I have a bit of depression. Depression, I guess, is when you're feeling really, really bad and tired and everything sucks all the time. It's pretty different for everyone, I think. You know, everybody has kind of different levels and different lengths of depression. And I didn't notice until very recently that I've been in one and I've been trying to get out. The thing is that it's really hard to get out of that state, which is why I wanted to talk about motivation. You see, it's very hard to get motivated when you're in a pit of self-despair and suffering. So how do you do it? Well, hopefully I can kind of provide some tips and pointers that sort of helped me get on the right track, because I feel like I am starting to come out of this pit now. It's just going to be a long road. The first step is admitting that it's going to be a long road, funny enough. You can't just snap your fingers and make your bad feelings go away. That's not how the human brain works. It kind of builds up over time all these chemicals and signals and patterns and you get into a sort of rut and a habit. And you know, your brain, it does get programmed to a degree if you do things over and over again. You know, stay in bed a lot, watch a lot of pornography. That's a, uh, maybe I'll jump into number two there. This is really, I guess, if you're a guy. I, I'm, I'm not actually sure if it affects women so much. I don't think they watch porn as much, but you shouldn't do it. That's actually one of the reasons, you know, I think I was in the hole. And this takes a lot of strength to admit, too, that I did have a problem with it for the longest time, and I didn't know it was not actually making me happy. It was just tricking my brain into thinking it was happy. That's actually a very good thing to look out for in life, is things that don't actually bring true happiness, but to bring kind of a temporary happiness, a dopamine hit that's not going to last very long, but it's something that can get programmed in your brain because it's easy to give. So, so far, admitting that it's going to be a long road, stop watching porn. Number three, then, would have to be go exercise. I actually started hitting the gym recently, and afterward, immediately, I am in pain, but I do feel good, somehow, deep down inside. You know, I'm actually doing something. An effort I am putting in is going toward making my body better. It's kind of a goal, a task, if you will, that sets your mind on a better track than just sitting around in a fog all the time. Now, for a lot of people, the motivation to get up and go exercise is actually a pretty big hurdle. And I should also say that the motivation to stop watching pornography, too, if you've been watching it a long time, that's also very, very hard. Like I said, the brain is not just a switch you can just flip on and off unless you've developed years and years of self-control and willpower. It takes time to get there. And I'll tell you something, I'm still, from time to time, I, you know, go back and I, and I watch that nasty, nasty stuff, and I regret it immediately afterward, but my brain just can't stop. And as for the gym, well, <laughs> I mean, the whole girl thing kind of kicked me to that, so what I'm saying is a kick in the pants can really help. So I guess the fourth thing is that you should try to, you know, kick yourself in the pants. Mix things up, slap yourself in the face, start taking cold showers, wake up really, really early all of a sudden, tire yourself out, just confuse your brain, just slap it, 
Just, just keep slapping it. I know it's hard, but god damn it, just hit it. Hit it with everything you've got. The frying pan there on the counter. Hit yourself in the head. Don't actually do that. That's a really bad idea. You don't want to give yourself brain damage. But, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta really come at your body from all angles and make it wonder what the hell is going on and what it's been doing this whole time. Because there are things out there that you can do. You can make videos that help people get better and, you know, heal them on an emotional level just as much as you can heal them on a physical level. That's what I want, ultimately, is for people to be happy. Because I know that I'm not a lot of the time, and I think I know why. And it's just because I've taken the easy path. And maybe that's step... Oh, jeez, what are we on? Five? So, what? We've got... Admit that it's gonna be hard. Stop watching porn. Exercise. Confuse your brain. And don't be afraid to take the hard path. I know. These are all things that are extremely difficult to do if you're in a really deep depression hole. I think I'm lucky enough to say that... I realized it soon, well, maybe not necessarily soon, I think I've actually been like this for a long time. But I know you can get better. And I'm always here to talk, if you out there are also feeling you are in a pit where all the things that you used to do that brought you joy no longer do. I want nothing more than for you to be happy. And I think we can do it together. And I think that's number six, is get support. Find people who are going to stand behind you and make sure that you are the best you that you can be talk to them about it. Maybe they'll know how to help better than me. The point is, we, as much as maybe some of us would like to think we can, and I used to think this way, you can't do everything alone. It's sort of contrary to human nature to think that way. We're a very social organism. And in this age of isolation, even with all the connection with technology, it's very, very easy to feel alone and like you can't talk to anyone. But like I said, you can always talk to me. I think I'll actually end this video on a serious note this time. Just to really drive the point home, you know? No jokes, no japes, just let it end.